بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہیئر ود مائی نینجا فور ہنڈریڈ گوئنگ آن اے رائڈ سیزن از گیرنگ اوور سو مے بی لاسٹ کپل آف رائڈس فار دس سیزن ٹیمپریچر از اباؤٹ ٹین ڈگری سینٹی گریڈ سو لیٹس گو So it is definitely getting a little bit chilly uh, but before the end of season I wanted to make a video about uh, getting a license in motorcycle license in Ontario but uh, I tried to make it many times but every time there would be a problem with the mic or angle would be down or whatever so let's talk about getting a motorcycle license in uh, Ontario So first thing you need to keep in mind this is a, a dangerous support you can get hurt in this one and there's a chance of getting killed so you got to tell yourself and your family like it is a, a dangerous uh, support right so let's talk about uh, getting your license uh yeah another thing is uh, if you want insurance uh, you want to check your insurance insurance is very high especially in the gta uh, if you are living in mississauga brampton or uh, oakville around toronto the insurance is quite expensive I'm uh, almost 38 years old and I have got this entry level sports bike and uh, paying about $125. So if you have a uh, you are younger uh, close to 16, 17 or 18 and below 25 the insurance can be substantially high. So this is the first thing you need to keep in mind. and second thing is riding season is just for uh, you can ride the motorcycle from uh, may june to october and uh, the insurance company they charge you for the full year and another thing is for the winter you need a storage uh, place for your bike So that is those are the things you need to keep in mind if you want to get into motorcycling so now let's talk about getting your m1 uh when you uh, first thing yeah m1 you get uh, uh if you are 16 years old and you can get your m1 m1 is valid for 90 days and uh, right now the driving schools are packed due to corona many people are not getting uh, training dates so if you want to get a, your m1 uh, please make sure like you have a school which can train you uh, we do get in a uh, discount with the uh training from the school so i paid uh, about 560 dollars and uh, i did get some discount for my motorcycle uh, insurance and it's a good uh, safety like they teach you a lot of stuff if you are have never ridden before uh, they teach you a lot of stuff about uh, motorcycling and safety tips so it's always good to take that course uh i have been riding back home about uh, 20 years ago my dad used to have a honda cd70 that one was pretty much uh, a very common bike over here at that time uh, more like a family car back home uh but uh, if you have never ridden before it's always good to take that course So after M1 you can take uh, your course and 
when your 60 days are passed you can go to the ministry and get your m2 m2 is valid for uh, five years and uh, after you have taken your m2 you have to wait another 18 months to get your uh, m license once you have your m license you would be able to uh, that will be a lifetime license so you like like a G license so when you have your M license it won't expire so you just need to renew every five years so now let's talk about cost uh, I think it's $25 for your M1 and if you are going with the, a course like a school you have to pay $560 for the course and it will also cover your license fee for five years and then uh, once you have M M2 that is valid for five years uh, other costs uh, which you need to do, uh, spend money on is uh, your gear you have to get your helmet you have to get your helmet uh, I paid about hundred thirty dollars for this uh, zone stinger helmet it's a decent entry-level helmet but if you want to spend more you can always spend more better to have a better gear and uh, I also bought a motorcycle ja jacket like Alpine Alpine Stars uh, this is about two hundred fifty dollars uh, it's a nice jacket, it has uh, like perforated uh, uh, parachute kind of material and uh, doesn't feel very hot in summer and it has uh, armor around the neck and uh, shoulders uh, so it's a good decent uh, jacket and you also need some uh, shoes which the school asks you for a shoes which can cover your uh, ankles uh, and it's uh, good for your safety if you are riding with the full size boots uh, which protect your uh, ankles and in case of fall or skin you don't hurt your uh, ankles and you also need to buy some motorcycle gloves uh, I bought these one for sixty dollars, I guess. But if you want, you can get a cheaper ones. These are nice uh, perforated uh, parachute material, and doesn't feel very hot. But if you plan to ride in during the winter, uh, you better to get some nice warm gloves. And. Uh, if you want you can always uh, use a leather jacket uh, the school would accept a leather jacket and uh, you don't have to buy a motorcycle jacket because uh, they are expensive uh, even the cheaper ones are like a couple of hundred dollars so you can use any leather jacket uh, if you have one and I will see you <clears throat> in another video. Uh, take care and uh, ride safely. Hopefully can do more videos next season.